Question 30, chapter 8, is another expected value problem. So I've got it set up for probabilities and expected results. Uh, this time we have marbles um, and uh, we have a different payout. So this is very similar to the last one. Um, if you look at it, we've got 2 gold, 10 silver, 25 black. That's 35, 37 total. So I'm going to put that back up here. Um, probability that we get a gold marble, since there are three of them, or two of them this time. I'll get a 2 out of 37. That gives us a decimal equivalent of 0. 0.054. The probability that we get a silver, since there are 10 silvers, that's 10 out of 37. 10 divided by 37 gives us 0 0.27, 0 per, uh, that's a decimal of 27%. Uh, and the probability that we would get a black by drawing it out is going to give us uh, 25, because there's 25 blacks out of 37 which gives us the decimal 0 0.676. To get the expected results, we take these probabilities times the, the value we get, or pay. So in this case, we get $3 if we get a gold, so that's 3 times 0 0.054. And if we do the math on that one, we get 0 0.162. Uh, if we do a silver, we get paid $2, is that right? Yes, two dollars for a silver, so that gives us two times zero point two seven zero, and when we multiply those out, we get fifty four cents. And the final thing is we're going to lose one dollar if we get a black, so that's negative one times zero point six seven six, which gives us negative point six seven six. We add all these together to get our expected value. And the result is we won a whopping two cents, two and a half cents. It's positive to our favor. Um, so yeah, this is a game we should play. Uh, it means we're going to win a little bit more than we lose. But if we play it enough, um, again, our expected thing is we'll, that wins and losses will average out and we'll, we'll end up with two cents, but it's better than a loss. That's expected value.